long run just behind you Everything else comes so fast Memories are all inside you And you never make them back I can feel, I can feel that you're in Through the world that you got like safe You can feel, you can feel what I mean Now that you're here Just know There's nothing to fear Along the way There's nothing I could say Nothing I could say Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the newest installment of Monday Night Raw. We are here in Chicago, Illinois, as the Second City Saint, CM Punk, is making his entrance in his home city. CM Punk, last episode, he banned Cody Rhodes from ringside so we can talk to the fans of Buffalo, New York. Cody Rhodes is set to have a face-to-face -face with CM Punk here tonight. As you can see, um, Paul Levesque guy shirts. It looks like the entire fan base here in Chicago is fully charged behind CM Punk as everyone has been thus far besides Buffalo when CM Punk said he's in it for the money. He said he's in it for the money after returning episode one. Attacking Cody Rhodes after he defeated his former mentor, Randy Orton, coming back from injury. CM Punk, I'm sure he has a plethora of words he wants to say in front of his home crowd. Chicago! Let's give a warm welcome to Cody Rhodes. By the sounds of it, CM Punk does not want to talk some filler. He wants to do this right here, right now. As last episode, he told Cody Rhodes to go by the nearest party city to grab some face paint, alluding to his former character in Star Dust. Cody Rhodes. Getting booed out of the building. But Cody Rhodes, he's going to fuel that. He's going to fuel that anger he has for CM Punk in order to push away. In order to start making some comebacks because what CM Punk is best at is running his mouth. But we do have to admit when Cody Rhodes is in the right, Cody Rhodes is in the right here. CM Punk returned in order to attack Cody Rhodes. I'm sure we're going to get some more idea, a better idea on why CM Punk came out to attack Cody. Because I'm sure Cody has that same exact question, but it is more so for the fans. Cody Rhodes, not in your typical suit. He's in a hoodie and his ring gear. I can assure you he's most likely looking to beat the crap out of CM Punk. But will that respect for Punk get in the way? CM Punk. You're a lot harder of a man to track down than what you used to be. Cody, do you hear them? Cody, is the heat going to get too much for you? No, it's not. I've dealt with this type of crowd before and I'll do it again. Before you get... Whoa, you've dealt with this crowd before. No, the last time I remember you dealing with a crowd like this, you jumped ship. You of all people want to bring up jumping ship? Oh, I most certainly do because the difference between me jumping ship and you jumping ship is you jump ship because you couldn't handle the heat. You jump ship. You are here right now for world championships, for main events of WrestleMania. For the fans. Well, I am here strictly to get the bag. 
You said it yourself. You just came here for the bag. So what is stopping you from using your talents to be an announcer, to be a commentator, to be a manager even? If all you care about is the money. Well, you caught me. Chicago, no. No, he's right. He's right. I did come here for another thing. I came back because, let's face it, Cody, you are untouchable. You're untouchable besides one person, and that person is out on a break. I am here to ensure that this running joke continues on. That Cody is a failure. And to ensure that you never, ever finish your story. I am here because I was able to do it in 2011. I was able to shut up John Cena 1.0. I am here to shut up John Cena 2.0. And I am here to be the main event of WrestleMania. The prize that should have been mine. There it is. When I returned within one year, I was able to main event WrestleMania. One year. You saw that and you decided... Let's give it a try. And funny enough, Chicago, I don't know why you're booing me. Hell in a Cell 2022, I tore my pec clean off the bone. A few weeks ago, a few months ago, I was here and you all were cheering me. Now that CM Punk decides come in, attack me, now it's against me. Now you all despise me for... What has CM Punk done for you, any of you? You seriously want to know what I did? I'm the man who made this entire industry care about wrestling again. So how about this? I can see that look in your eye that you want to shut me up. The only way to do that is by defeating me. If you truly believe you have what it takes to shut me up, to be the only man in history to shut up CM Punk, add me to the triple threat match. Cody Punk. You know, Punk, you actually have a good idea. Punk being inside the triple threat would be best for business. Money-wise, fan-wise, eye-wise, CM Punk in that match. You got something going. Hold the phone, Hunter. As much as I hate to say it, but CM Punk hasn't earned squat. Cody Rhodes, even. As much as I hate the guy, at least he earned a spot into the World Heavyweight Championship. I beat Riddle. Cody beat Randy, what has Punk done? You know what, Seth? You bring up a good point. Punk hasn't done anything to earn a world title match. Which gives me the idea. What if... In tonight's main event, CM Punk will go one-on-one -on -one against Seth Rollins. If Punk wins, he is in the triple threat match at no mercy. What? No. This is not Too what I... Late. It's already confirmed. I'll see you tonight. Oh my god! CM Punk will go one-on-one -on -one against Seth freaking Rollins in the main event tonight. If he wins, he will be added to the triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. As we're getting set up and oh! LA Knight! LA Knight is taking out Dolph Ziggler who had a scheduled promo for here tonight. LA Knight obviously a little salty about what happened last week because Dolph Ziggler defeated LA Knight in which LA Knight views Dolph Ziggler as a bona fide jobber in his own words. And he is ta taking out Dolph Ziggler right now as we're getting scheduled for a triple threat match. The number one contendership for the United States champion Gunther at no mercy. LA Knight is just really landed in on Dolph Ziggler. Sends him onto the concrete floor. Which makes everything that much more painful. It's LA Knight fully attacking Dolph Ziggler and he's grabbing a chair. We need to get security out here right now. Oh, couple of chair shots. Come on, LA Knight. We, we need some medical. 
We need some security to stop this madness as LA Knight is just taking it to Dolph Ziggler. LA Knight. A lot of punches. He must be really mad at Dolph. Like I said, we're supposed to be having a triple threat match right now. No, LA Knight, do not. Do not, LA Knight. No, no, no. Suplex through the table, my God. This is LA Knight show. Yeah. I guess let's get on to the triple threat match. Well, like I was just saying, uh, we're getting this triple threat match number one contender spot for Gunther's United States Championship and is set underway. Last episode, Triple H announced that this triple threat match will be taking place here in Chicago, Illinois, as this man, Ricochet, the highlight of the night, has a very big, big opportunity here as Ricochet plans to take out his other two opponents. But first... Before we get this match started, make sure you go down below, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. First episode over ha has over 10,000 views as time of editing and recording, so thank you all. That is mind-boggling. I, I, I'm speechless that we've reached 10,000 views on one video. So, every single week, every Monday, you can be expecting a Monday Night Raw. And if a Monday Night Raw is not taking place, then it'll be a pay-per-view. Next week, we have episode 4 Monday Night Raw, and then the week following, we will have No Mercy. All taking place every single Monday, so make sure you turn post notifications on to always, always be alerted when a new Raw goes up or a GM mode or whatever. But when it comes to Gunther's style, the hard-hitting style... You also have to take into accountability Sheamus. Sheamus, very, very underrated talent, a longtime veteran in this industry. Sheamus. He has an opportunity of a lifetime to try taking the United States Championship away from Gunther, but he does have to get through Ricochet and the third opponent in the match. Sheamus is a fan favorite here. If I have betting odds, I bet Sheamus wins here tonight. But I guess we will see. I guess we will see. As the third participant's music hits. You gotta love the original bro, Matt Riddle. Now, Matt Riddle has had an, has already had a championship Qualifier opportunity, and he failed against Seth freaking Rollins. He has this opportunity here tonight for the United States Championship. It's Matt Riddle coming once again. Championship opportunity, and you gotta love Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle has such charisma. He's coming down on a freaking scooter, for Christ's sake. Chicago loving him. Coming from MMA background, so he does hit very, very hard. If he were the man to go up against Gunther, we have to admit that that match would be very hard hitting as well. But before we get this match started, make sure you go over to Instagram. Make sure you look up LEW PickFed on Instagram. Go follow me over there. Message me about Raw. Message me about the PickFed. Message me about my GM mode. I am sure to message you back. Now... Let's get this triple threat number one contenders match underway. Rick, as Ricochet is the only man not in action here tonight so far. As Rant Riddle already armbar, armbar on Sheamus. But Ricochet able to break it up. Now when it comes to a triple threat match, there's no disqualification. So we could be seeing some weapons here in this match. And it is not elimination. So it is first fall. First fall. Sheamus a couple of elbows to the sternum and Rick uh, uh, Riddle, my bad, Riddle with a drop kick. 
It's very, very chaotic, because this is what you can expect from a triple threat. It's Ricochet, Hurricane Rana to Sheamus' riddle back up to his feet. Comes back around. Grabs a hold of Ricochet. Fisherman suplex. Oh, no. Fisherman brain buster. Sheamus going after Riddle, but Ricochet grabbing a hold of Sheamus. German suplex. As, oh, Rip Gordon knee. Rip Gordon knee. As, oh, is that going to be it? Sheamus able to break it up. You, this is the thing about triple threat matches. Triple threat matches could go on for quite some time as you always have the other man. You always have the other man. So you're going to have to try attacking when one man is down. That's when you pull out the big stops. And that is where you could possibly see a victory here tonight. Ricochet kick to the midsection as Sheamus grabs some steel steps. Grabbing them steel steps. Very, very wise. Sheamus, like I said, a, ve a veteran. A veteran against two younger guys in the industry. He knows what it takes to get the job done. Oh. Oh. And looks like Riddle and Sheamus are double teaming as Instagram from Sheamus. Something we don't normally see from him. You gotta pull out all the stops this German suplex from Riddle. My bias might come into play, but you, you gotta love Riddle. Oh my gosh. Power bomb onto the top turnbuckle as Riddle is cleaning house. Ricochet rolls to the outside as Sheamus punched the gut. Oh, Sheamus lifts up Riddle and plants him with a power slam. Ricochet getting in on the action. Oh, Riddle grabbing a hold of Ricochet's head. Oh, driving that knee to the forehead. Oh, my goodness, a big boot. Ricochet was looking for something there. But Sheamus just lighting him up with these strikes on the European uppercut. Cover, hooks the leg. Riddle is down on the outside. Cover, one. Ricochet was able to kick out. As Riddle taking a bit of a breather on the outside. As he should be. You gotta conserve that energy while the other two fight it out. That's my thought process at least. As Ricochet, people's elbow, no. Never mind. Standing, shooting star. Riddle was looking for the steel steps, but Ricochet not on that happen. Oh my god. Riddle just got turned inside out as Sheamus lifts up Riddle and plants him. The modified Falcon Arrow and ooh, a kick from Riddle, springboard kick as Ricochet laying him in on the punches. Ooh, that was awfully close to the steel steps there. It's Ricochet grab a hold of the back of the neck of Sheamus. Ricochet. I don't know what he's... Oh, he's trying to just wrench. Trying to rip the head off of Sheamus. As here comes Riddle with that bicycle knee. Send Sheamus to the rubs. Comes back with Spine Buster. He has an opportunity here. If he's able to hit a bro Derek, a floating bro, something. He could put Sheamus away right here tonight. Oh my goodness. Another powerbomb on the top rope. His ricochet coming in with a chair. Chair right to the midsection of Sheamus. The heavy art artillery. Ricochet. He's taunting that chair. Oh. Oh, comes back. Pele kick. Springboard Pele kick. As Rick Oh, Riddle. With a neck breaker, I mean. As Riddle. Oh. The bro. Derek. Bro Derek. Riddle could be out for a little bit now. Leaving an open opportunity for Riddle. Or Sheamus, even. Oh, a chop. Kick to the midsection. Riddle is looking for something there. Oh. A jumping knee as Ricochet back up to his feet. J oh, standing shooting star press, but Riddle was able to get the knees up. And now a drop kick. What's Riddle looking for here? Lifts Rid Ricochet up. Oh, a kick to the side of the head. And now Riddle. Riddle. A couple of punches. Riddle could be looking to put this away as Sheamus is focused on the steel steps. Oh, he bumps into the referee. Sheamus. Now going to make Riddle pay for trying to sneak this one away from Sheamus. Oh, clothesline missed. As takedown from Riddle. Sheamus sends Riddle to the ropes. Comes back. Oh, a backbreaker. As Sheamus. Oh, lifts up Riddle. Or Ricochet. Plants him on the mat. 
I'm sorry if I miss, mix up those two. Very, very similar, but yet very different. Ricochet, Riddle, you can understand the difference. You got like, they both start with Ri, right? <laughs> so, Ricochet, grabbing a hold of Riddle. Oh, snap suplex. The Sheamus on the attack once again. What's he looking for here? Oh, a submission hold. He's just going to hold that right there. Is Riddle. On the outside, comes back. Able to punch Ricochet off a of Sheamus and belly to belly suplex. Riddle has an open opportunity here. Oh, Fisherman suplex. Cover. One. Only a one count as Sheamus kicks out. White fast as... Oh! That kick once again from Riddle. Ooh, big knee. If I was Ricochet, if I was Riddle, I would focus on Sheamus. Granted, the other two men are a big threat in this match, but I believe Sheamus is the biggest threat, considering Sheamus, before this reboot, a couple world championship wins. When it comes to the accolades of Ricochet and Riddle, both men do not measure up to Sheamus. That comes with the longevity of Sheamus. Having a bit of a rebirth of his career. Dropping Ricochet into the... Oh, no. Sheamus lifts up Riddle. Submission hold. Is he looking for that submission hold? Yeah, he is. So Ricochet was able to break it up. And now, that gives Sheamus an open with the white noise. Cover hook's leg. One. But Ricochet was right there to break it up. Or Riddle was, yeah. As Matt gets planted on the knee. Comes back. Bro kick. Bro kick from Sheamus. Riddle down, or Ricochet down on the outside. Is Matt able to kick out? Sheamus. Cover on Riddle. Oh, two count. Rick, uh, Riddle was able to kick out there as Ricochet was right there, though. Sheamus sends Riddle to the outside. Now Riddle comes back. Drop down. Oh, diving elbow from Ricochet. It's Riddle. Taking a breather here as Sheamus just tosses Ricochet across the ring. It's Riddle. Has an open opportunity here on Sheamus. Riddle, uh, Ricochet's in the corner. I'm going to call Riddle Matt from now on when we're having these two fight. Matt. It's Ricochet grabs a hold of Sheamus. Sends him. Oh, comes back around. Hurricane Rana from Ricochet. That's Matt. I don't know what he was looking for there. What was Matt looking for there? You know, maybe he's a little too, uh... Too excited as a kick to the side of the head as Sheamus back up to his feet once again. Has Matt on the ropes. Grabs all the ricochet though. Sends him back. Oh no. Sheamus just trying to attack two people at once. Not that good of a strategy as Matt grabs a hold of Sheamus. Oh, and Ricochet seizes an opportunity. Spin around. Tilt a whirl hurricane rana as Sheamus lifts him up and plants him. Back body drop. Is Sheamus attacking Matt now? Matt able to break him off. Break him off of that streak of strikes. It's going to be very interesting to see who will face and who will end up facing Gunther. As Matt, couple of punches to the side of the head. Submission hold locked in. Ricochet right there though. Will Sheamus tap before Riddle? Or Ricochet? Jeez. Huh. It's fine, though, as Ricochet. Oh. Oh. Stomach first goes Matt. It's Ricochet kick to the midsection. Sets his attention to Sheamus. Trying to break the arm of Sheamus. Cover up the leg. One. Two. Sheamus able to kick out. Is Matt right there trying to attack Ricochet? Oh, look for that kick, but Ricochet was able to duck under it. Sheamus. Oh, drop kick to Matt. 
Seamus DDT. Ricochet, forearm strike. A lot of chaos. This match has been complete chaos thus far. Oh, is that some mission hold? I can't tell. I don't know. The ref wasn't really paying attention. But, oh! Ricochet was able to hit him with the one knee code breaker. Now cover. Sheamus is down and out. One, two. No, Matt able to kick out. That saved the match for Sheamus. Saved the match for Riddle himself. It's Ricochet. Oh. Oh, Sheamus bringing in Kendo stick. Never mind. Drops it. Oh. Shooting star. Was able to get out of the way. Riddle. A kick to the side of the head. And now a couple of punches. We know what R Riddle's looking for here. Oh. He's able to break it up. Sheamus. Oh. White and Riddle up. Oh. Riddle back up to his feet. Matt was back up to his feet. And now it sets his attention towards Ricochet. Couple of kicks. Couple of stomps. Oh. Chop a kick. Sends Sheamus down. The striking capabilities of Riddle is unmatched. I have said the same thing about Gunther. So we will see. If those two end up facing. Couple of forearm strikes. Oh. Jumping knee. Although I would like to see either Ricochet Sheamus or even Matt Riddle face Gunther. But my fan favorite is Riddle. Punching, punching, dude. Get off the man. As Riddle sends Ricochet to the... Oh, spine buster. Sheamus down and out on the outside. Oh, Pele missed. Pele was missed. And now Ricochet might have to pay for that. Collar bow. Sends Riddle into the ropes. Coming back. Jumping. Oh, bouncing off of his chest. Riddle is still standing, though. And now a snap suplex. Fisherman hook suplex from Ricochet. Oh, a standing suplex? No. Sheamus. Oh, clothesline. Clothesline? I don't know. Maybe Riddle got a knee off of Ricochet. But Hurricane Rana once again. And Riddle. Clothesline missed. Elbow, though. An elbow catches Ricochet. Spinning. Oh. Ricochet gets sent to the outside. Sheamus and Riddle in the middle of that ring. Right now. As Sheamus dropping Riddle on his knee. Sheamus lighting him up. Oh. Sheamus clipping that steel steps. That's got to hurt. Ricochet gets punched in the gut. Oh. Armbar. Armbar. Could this be the end? Just how we started it. Arm by on Ricochet. No, Ricochet was able to get out of it. And now Sheamus punching the living daylights out of Matt. Sheamus and Ricochet doing battle on the inside as Ricochet sweeping the leg, standing shooting star. Sheamus was able to get the knees up and now a drop kick moved out of the way. Ricochet. Oh, he gets caught. He gets caught, but no. Ricochet dodges. Sheamus dodges. Punch. Two punches. Three punches. Four. Five. Oh, kendo stick. No. Riddle was looking to get a clean shot off of Ricochet, but Ricochet said, uh-uh. Ricochet just too fast for the, both of these men. Oh, backstabber. That, that looked ugly. Oh, Riddle was looking for that RKO, but no, gets caught. As, oh, bicycle knee, Riddle has Ricochet right where he wants him, an RKO from his buddy Randy, cover, one, two, no, Ricochet able to kick out at two, Riddle and I certainly thought that was it, oh, a kick to the side of the head, Riddle, Ricochet is down on the outside as Riddle is attacking, Sheamus, wrenching on Sheamus, no, Sheamus able to pry him off before he can do some serious damage. Sheamus grabs a hold of Riddle. Lifts him up. Oh, Blanton is 
chest right onto the knee. An inverted Frankensteiner from Ricochet. Ricochet has an opening here. If he is able to take down Riddle, or Riddle is ticked down Ricochet. It's Riddle planting Ricochet. Oh, and he's still not done here. The pure strength of Riddle. Sheamus, punch to the side of the head, coming back. No. Oh, drop kick. Drop kick from Ricochet. Ricochet. Both. Both Sheamus and Ricochet were looking for something there. Oh. Oh, get planted with the power slam. A punch. Two punches. No. Get sent to the outside. Drop kick towards Riddle. And now Ricochet has an opening. Ricochet coming back. Oh, diving forearm. Springboard clothesline. That's what I meant. Cover one, two. No, shame is able to kick out at two. As Riddle. Moves Ricochet out of the way. Comes back. Diving forearm. That's the, where the diving forearm. And now he's just stomping him out. The Sheamus grabs all of Riddle. Sends him to the ropes. Comes back. Kitchen sink. I have a feeling this match is coming to a close. The Sheamus. No. No. Riddle was able to reverse it. Riddle was able to reverse it. Kick. Two kicks. Oh. Oh. Big knee. Catching the jaw of Sheamus. Oh, no. Sheamus was able to break it up. And now Rick Shea. Oh. Maybe you should have hit Sheamus with that kendo stick shot, but oh, kick to the side of the head. And now Riddle, knee to the back, the spinal cord, a kick to the head, a kick to the head. And now, a couple of punches once again, a couple of punches once again. And now submission hold, submission hold. Riddle in the way as Ricochet taps. The new number one contender is Matt Riddle for Gunther's United States Championship. You gotta love to see it. You'll love to see it. Riddle failing against Seth Rollins, beating Sheamus and Ricochet, earning himself a United States Championship match. I'm proud of this man. Randy's got to be proud of him. Riddle just went through war. Congratulations, Matt Riddle. Let me talk to you. Last episode, Dolph Ziggler barely beat me. Which does not make him the better man, because L.A. Knight is THE man. So what I took it upon myself to take out the bona fide jobber. Because that is what L.A. Knight does. Yeah. Not again. Let's get security back here. Welcome back from commercial break as we are back here in Chicago, Illinois as we are getting ready for DIY versus anyone, really. Last episode, they said that they wanted to fight. They're willing to fight. And Johnny Gargano earlier today posted, when DIY defeat our opponents, we want a Chag Team Championship opportunity. Triple H then responded, you will most certainly have my attention. Now, that is very, very, very interesting because we have been not clued in on anything when it comes to the Tag Team Championships. We know about the World Championships. We know who's going to be in it, and possibly here tonight, a new member will be added. But when it comes to the Tag Team Championships, we are still clueless. It's DIY. Their only other match here since this reboot, they had it in a draw against the Creed Brothers, who last week defeated the Straight Profits, so they are in a momentum spree, but DIY will be facing, it looks like they will be facing the former longest reigning tag team champs of all time, the Usos. Now, Jimmy and Jay, they're very decorated athletes before the reboot. Now, with everything, a clean slate, they're looking to recapture gold. They're looking to recapture their reign of the longest reigning tag team champions. The Usos and DIY both will have a very, very tall task ahead of them. As both teams will not look to go down without a fight.
The Usos. Jimmy. Jay. Former members of the Bloodline. Roman Reigns, though, taking a bit of a break as we heard this episode already. So, it's going to be very interesting to see when the Tribal Chief comes back. But the fans look to be cheering for the Usos as Champa and Jay are starting this match off the bicycle kick. Bicycle knee, I mind you, from Tommaso Champa. So far, it looks like Johnny has been sort of the mouthpiece for DIY and Champ has sort of been business. That looks to be what has come of it so far. I'm not going to look too much into it, but Johnny getting tagged in here. It's Johnny Gargano sends Jay to the ropes, comes back, hits him with a drop kick. A single leg drop kick, takes out Jimmy. Jimmy's still on the ropes though, just getting caught with a punch, and now Jay sends Johnny to the outside. Jay following him, comes back. Punch, punch, oh. Johnny landed on the commentary table. That's neck breaker. A neck breaker from Jay Uso. Main event Jay Uso. One half of the longest reigning tag team champs of all time. Oh, clothesline over the top. Clothesline over the top is Johnny. A punt look for another punch on Jimmy. Jimmy's not gonna take it this time. Is Jay? Oh, gets punched. And now a side rush in the leg sweep. Johnny, Johnny looking to make Jay tap already. Jimmy is right there though, and he breaks it up. Jimmy breaks up the submission hold. I mean, it's been very fast, but Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, they call him that for a reason because his technical status here in the company is very, very threatening. Samoan drop from Jay as Jay looks to get some more offense in here on Johnny Gargano. Johnny. Oh, plants him down. Cover one. Only a one count. It's Jimmy in the ring now. Johnny looks to send Jimmy to the outside. Thus far, Johnny is full business. Suicide dive takes Jay down. Johnny Gargano. Full out of steam comes back. Oh, no. They bump into each other. And Johnny, oh, gets caught with a DDT on the floor. There's very, very little padding between the skull of Johnny Gargano and the concrete floor as Johnny gets planted on top, the hardest part of the ring, and now he gets sent all the way. Kind of six. Is Johnny going to make it in as Jimmy's just trying to... Oh, okay, good. He sends it back in as Champa is down. As... Oh, spine buster. Beautiful looking spine buster from Jay. Jay needs a breather here. He's going to tag in his brother Jimmy. It's Johnny. Oh, snap suplex. Cover. Jay wasn't able to take a breather for that long. Johnny Gargano lighting Jimmy up here. Johnny is lighting up Jimmy. Now he tags in Champa. It's Champa making it back into the ring here. Oh, both were looking for something there. Both missing as Champa Discus Lariat takes Jimmy down real quick as they're trying to make quick work of the Usos. Jimmy comes back, gets caught with a bicycle knee. Champa saying this is his show as Jimmy, oh my gosh, bouncing off the top rope. He looks to tag in Jay. Champa stopping right in his tracks. So he can get a full grasp on Jay Uso, but Jay was able to send him into the ropes, come back, drop down, kick up as oh scoop slam from Jay. Main event Jay Uso. Punching the side of the head of Tommaso Ciampa. Lifts up Ciampa. Punch a kick. Super kick from Jay. Like I said, both these teams are not looking to go down without a fight. Uso splash missed. A mini splash. Oh, Jamba gets punched in the gut. DDT from Jay. I think we're just getting started here, folks. As Champa looks to make a tag to Johnny Gargano. As Jimmy is just letting him do it. Said he wants Johnny. Johnny punched him in the face. Unwarranted couple of punches to the face. And now he gets dropped with a Samoan drop. It's Jimmy. 
Grabbing a hold of Johnny once again. Johnny able to get down and out. Johnny grabs a hold of Jimmy. Oh, and now he drops him on the shoulder blades. Only a one count. Jimmy was able to kick out very quickly. Johnny Gargano coming back. Back and forth. Round and round we go and gets dropped once again with that Samoan drop. Tag into Jay. Oh, a neck breaker from Jay. A neck breaker from Jay. And now the Usos are in full control of this match. As, oh, Johnny able to tag in Champa now. Diving clothesline miss. Champa being a little bit more wary this time around. Not being as cautious. Oh. Oh my goodness. A chop. A chop to the chin. After a little dance now. The Usos are very wise. Very wise. Tagging in the newest competitor in the match. Tagging in each other. Once one gets tired, the other one comes in and makes some clean work of the other. Opponent bouncing to each other. Now Jimmy lifts up Champa. Snake eyes on the top turnbuckle. Johnny Gargano is still down, so if the Usos want to make something or big splash here, Nuso splash, but gets caught with another scoop slam, they could end up this match right now. One, two, Champa able to kick out. Luckily, Johnny Gargano. Finally getting back up to his feet. And now Jimmy has Champa once again. Sends him into the corner. Look for a double team, but Champa able to break out of it. Champa is able to break out of it. And now he's just getting mauled in there. Mauled in there by these sharp strikes from Jimmy Uso. Champa landed on that mat quite rough. And it looks like he might be busted open here. Now will that blood come into play? He's now tagging in his brother. Looking for a double team here. Dropping Champa. Oh, splash from Jay Uso. Champa's just getting wrecked in there. Desperately needs a tag to Johnny Gargano. Johnny so far has been their only, only difficulty. Champa, you know, like I said, he's trying to been shaking off the cobwebs. He's been injured for quite some time. That is no excuse after last after the episode one. They didn't have a match last week, but after episode one, forearm strike from Jimmy Uso as the Usos are just taken down. DIY. Jimmy lifts up. No, Champa able to land on his feet. Comes back with a punch and another one. Third. Oh, knee. Drop kick. Champa is fighting back here. He is able to tag in Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano is coming right back into this match. He's coming full out of steam. Oh. Kick to the midsection. Johnny jumps off the ropes and tornado DDT. Johnny Gargano has an opportunity here to silence the Usos. Silence the taunting. To get championship gold around their waist. It's the Usos. Jimmy. Oh, standing suplex. Johnny, punch to the face. Oh, gets caught with an elbow. Jimmy has a hold of the back of the neck of Johnny Gargano. Sends him into the corner. He's looking for that double team once again, but this time on Johnny. Johnny able to break out of it. Coming back, plants him on the mat. Now a tag to Jay Uso is Johnny Gargano. Grabs a hold of him. Sends him down. Goes to the ropes. Comes back and a kick to the side of the head. Johnny Gargano. They got to come back for DIY and get a little tired out. He's getting a little tired out. Champa needs to come back. Needs to help out his partner. Champa lifts up. Jay Uso and plants him. Cover. One. Only a one count as the referee, I believe, was a little too slow on that. As Champa grabs a hold of Jay Uso and plants him. Doubled knee to the back. It's gotta hurt. As now 
Champa looking for that fairy tale ending on Jay Uso. Will that be the ending of the match? As Champa look, cover hooks the leg. One, two, no. Jimmy was able to break it up. Very, very smart by the Usos. By saving, by conserving their energy. So that in case the other needs them, they can breathe right there in seconds of... Oh, my gosh. I don't know what you call that, but Champa just almost could have broke Jay's neck. Now sends him into the corner. Double team, no. Jay, oh, and Johnny. Johnny with a shoulder to the midsection. Gives Champa the opening. It's Champa. Look for that cover once again. I believe Jimmy will be too close for this. But not even a one as Jimmy was able to sprint to the other side of the ring just to break it up. And now Jimmy going after Johnny. No. He says, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm good. As Champa tags in Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Gargano. Kick to the spine. Oh, just slamming the wrist. It's not going to feel too good. As Johnny Gargano goes to the top rope here. What is Johnny thinking? He wants Jay up to his feet. Oh, dive. Oh, diving. Diving neck breaker cover. One. Only a one count. Only a one count by these guys. It's Jay lifts up Samoan drop on Johnny Gargano. Tags in his brother Jimmy. Jimmy comes back. Clothesline. No. Johnny was still up on his feet. And now he has the opportunity of a lifetime. He has the opportunity to take down Jimmy. Ducks underneath. Jimmy bounces off the ropes. Comes back. Drop kick. Super kick. Missed. Both of them missed. Cutter. Missed. And now Jimmy. Neck breaker. On Johnny Gargano. Tags back in. Jay Uso. I'm not sure about that strategy is Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano. Gargano escape. Gargano escape right in front of Jimmy Uso. It's not going to be in the match here, but it is going to definitely wear down Jay Uso as Johnny Gargano goes to the middle rope. Splash. Splash on the back. Cover one. Just trying to wear down Jay. Just trying to wear down Jay. It's Champa sends Jimmy to the outside, but Jay. Was able to roll out of the ring. And now he's getting up to his feet. It's Johnny Gargano. Suicide dive missed. Jay sidestepped it. And now Johnny Gargano. Little heart. Be able to get up to his feet. Count of three. It's Johnny Gargano has some time to wear down Jay on the outside here. But Jimmy is Jimmy's trying to stay with his brother. Trying to protect him a little bit. Oh, flatliner, I believe. Count of six, and Jimmy just gonna. The respect is there. They're gonna let them do their thing as Jay goes inside. Jimmy on the apron. Johnny Gargano goes back inside of the ring, too. Now, Jay and Johnny in the middle of the ring. Jay. Johnny with another neck breaker. And now he's showboating. That could have cost him there as Jay was very hurt. And now Jimmy comes back, drop kick, sends Johnny down. It's Jay grabs a hold of Johnny Gargano. Dropping him. Dropping him on the top rope. Now call out about type as Johnny Gargano gets the opportunity here. Oh no, Jimmy able to break him off. Now Jimmy, slap. Jimmy sends Johnny to the ropes, comes back in. Oh my gosh. That's like dropping... That's like a belly flop into a pool. Super kick to the midsection. Johnny needs a breather here. He needs to tag in Tommaso. Oh, a punch to the face. And a second one. Jimmy getting his payback from earlier on in the night. Oh, Instagram sends Johnny down. Now Jimmy. Stunner sends Champa down. Johnny back up to his feet. Jimmy lets Johnny come back in. Oh, punch missed. It's Johnny lighting up Jimmy now. Johnny is lighting up Jimmy now. And now what's he doing? 
Oh, just planting him once again. He's saying that is what you get. Now Johnny Gargano. Forearm strike to Jimmy. And now jump in, spin around. Corkscrew onto Jimmy. Both of these men need to tag in their partner. They want a chance to win this match. Sends Jimmy into the barricade. That is definitely going to hurt the ribs. Now Johnny attacks Jay, but Jay saw it coming. Got the knee up as... Oh, once again. Johnny just so persistent. Probably not the wisest thing. And now he grabs a hold of Jay. Drop kick down. But Jimmy back up to his feet. That was too late in the headbutt. Jimmy a kick to the back. That's got to hurt. Jimmy, slap after that little dance. And now he goes to the top rope. The top rope looking for that Uso splash. And it connects cover. Tommaso right there, though. Not even a one. As Tommaso was right there. He has been taking a breather for quite some time now. And now Jimmy, oh, he sends him down. Jimmy, oh, he gets kicked off by Johnny Gargano. Johnny grabs all to Jimmy, sends him into the corner. I think we know what he's looking for, that lawn dart. And that is exactly what he's looking for. Oh, and it connects. Connects, this is Johnny Gargano's opportunity if he is able to take down Jey Uso. Or maybe make sure Jimmy taps real quick as he is sitting in that Gargano escape. Gargano escape is fully cinched in here. Will Jimmy tap before? No. Jay was able to make it to his brother before Johnny Gargano was able to make Jimmy tap. Ooh. An elbow to the inside. Jimmy's thigh. And here comes Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso. He is ready. Ready to put away the Usos. Tags in Johnny. I don't know if that was the best opportunity but a DDT. Tommaso, I don't know why he tagged in Johnny. Either way, Jay, back into this match, lifts him up and Samoan drop. Samoan drop, cover hooks the leg. One, two, three. Tommaso didn't even try to break it up. Tommaso didn't even attempt to break up the pinfall. I don't know. Maybe there's some discommunication or what between DIY, but the Usos were able to pick it off as you can see some of the highlights of that match. It's the Usos. Maybe they get DIY's Tag Team Championship opportunity, but congratulations, you guys. As now we are headed in to some backstage shenanigans with Chad, Cable, and the Creed Brothers. You guys almost done? Yeah, Gable, are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. Everyone loves an American hero. What's better than one American hero? Two American heroes. Yeah, we get that. It's just maybe a bit much. No, no, no. You guys, look. You guys will learn to love this, okay? You guys, it'll grow on you. Trust me. All right. Don't get too disappointed. Next week, I got a big surprise for you two, okay? Just make sure you're in the next city. Another one? All right. We'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from our final commercial break of the evening as we are getting set up for the main event between Seth Frickin' Rollins and the hometown hero, C.M. Punk. Seth Frickin' Rollins, of course, on air, has called C.M. Punk a cancer. Has called him a fool for trying to go head-to-head -head against Seth. Seth Rollins. Said, CM Punk hasn't even earned a World Heavyweight Championship match. As he has faced Matt Riddle and Cody Rhodes did defeat Randy Orton. Triple H took that 
and they thought it was a good idea to pair the two together. If CM Punk can defeat Seth frickin' Rollins, then CM Punk definitely earned a World Heavyweight Championship match. So we're going to see if CM Punk will be able to pull it off here tonight against the Messiah. The Visionary, the Revolutionary, the Beast Slayer, the King Slayer. This guy has thousands of names just because he is this freaking good. Seth Rollins, obviously not the hometown favorite. Not, not the favorite coming into this match is CM Punk. You know, CM Punk obviously has had some... Had some influence on his hometown. CM Punk is most hometowns. CM Punk is a god to these people. But we will end up seeing who will walk away as the victor. Make sure you go down below. Before we get this match started, make sure you go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. This match is about to get underway as CM Punk, the voice of... The voiceless, the second city saint arrives. CM Punk's return match to the WWE against a man who called him a cancer. This match has been building for years. CM Punk and Seth Rollins haven't liked each other. Haven't really talked to each other since see, since Seth Rollins was a part of the Shield, in which they were quote unquote punks lackeys for a little bit there. So Seth Rollins has always had this slight hatred towards CM Punk, as many believed C Seth Rollins would not have been in the WWE, would not have been as successful as he is today without the help of CM Punk bringing him in as a quote unquote. Lackey. So Seth Rollins is looking to silence all the doubts. And Punk is looking to silence all of his haters. A blood filled match. Let's kick it off as Seth Rollins gets caught with a scoop slam. A scoop slam by Punk, and now Punk is looking to take it to Rollins, but Rollins is able to kick him off. A chop, a second kick, and Rollins sidestep. A doomsday Saido by Rollins, and Rollins comes back. Dropping the knee. No. Punk was able to move out of the way. And I can't mention the other company. But CM Punk has not been absent from entering competition for the last nine years. He has not. He's had a little bit of a stint elsewhere. But CM Punk. Look for that Instagram. It's Rollins drops him with a knee. It's Rollins. Like I said, a blood bath filled. Boiling over to the point of no remorse between these two. Rollins is going to look everything he can to take down CM Punk, who CM Punk obviously a little bit past his prime. But Punk still very, very great when it comes to in-ring competition. As, oh, comes back diving clothesline, springboard clothesline from CM Punk. CM Punk gets caught with the sling blade now. Seth Rollins. CM Punk takes a breather here as Seth Rollins, oh, diving over the top rope as CM Punk baited him. CM Punk baited Seth Rollins to dive over that top rope, and it could have cost him quite a bit in this match. As CM Punk looking for the, another scoop slam, but Punk gets caught with a couple of punches. He gets caught with the kick, takes him down. Rollins sends him around, ripcord knee. Cover, hooks the leg. One, only a one count. CM Punk is not going to go down that easily. Rollins get punched in the guts. Instagram missed. Rollins. He's not only fighting. All the doubt of him being a former CM Punk lackey. But he is fighting CM Punk for his opportunity for a World Heavyweight Championship match. Rollins looking to make sure that it's just a one-on-one -on -one against Cody Rhodes. In which, truth be told... Truth be told, Rollins has not had a good track record against Cody Rhodes as he has failed three times against Cody. But it will make that much more harder to get the upper hand on Cody Rhodes if CM Punk is added to the mix. 
Couple of strikes by Punk as Rollins gets the upper hand once again. Clothesline missed. They bump into each other. And now Rollins lifts up Punk. Trying to land that snake eyes and he does. Seth. Oh, Spring. Oh, dives to the outside. This time he's able to take Punk down. But Punk. He's a veteran in his own right. Both of these men have been at the top of their game for quite some time. This is a back and forth contest. Rollins, the strikes lighten him up. Side rushing leg sweep. Dropping the knee, the shin more so on Punk's nose. Rollins look, dropped the knee, but no. Oh! Jumping knee from CM Punk as Punk snap suplex to Seth Rollins. Count of seven. Will this go to a draw? We've already seen a draw thus far between DIY and Creed Brothers as CM Punk springboard. Springboard Larry able to get the back part as Rollins drops down. It's now neckbreaker. No, Rollins. Couple of cheap shots to the midsection. Punched miss. Gets caught with a kick. No. Rollins grabs a hold of it. Knocks it away. Strikes galore by these two. And now Seth Rollins snap suplex to Punk. Snap suplex to Punk is now Rollins just punching the face. Giving it everything he's got into those strikes. Oh, Punk. Pork screw takes him down. And now, trying to work on that hand a bit. If he can hurt that hand quite a bit, then it, he has a decent shot against Seth Rollins. Now he's looking for that same exact move once again. Trying to wear and tear that hand. Punk may be looking for it again, but, CM, but Seth Rollins was able to pick him off cover too. A two count already. A two count already. Maybe that, of, uh, that kick might have dazed Punk quite a bit. But Rollins, Stunner, takes Punk down and out to the outside as Rollins chasing right after him. But Punk catches him, lifts him up. Oh no, Rollins, Rollins lands on his feet and plants him. Reverse DDT. Oh! Both these men have so much to fight for. Count of four. They're going to the outside and they're using up every single second they can outside of there to beat the living hell out of each other. Oh, right into the guardrail. It's Punk. Count of six. Into the steps Rollins goes. Count of seven. Once again, it's Rollins. Both men trying to catch their breath. Was, oh, Punk! Cross body on CM, or on uh, Seth. Step up in Seguri. Rollins. Despite the cross body, Rollins has so much fight still left. Now, oh. Same thing goes for CM Punk. Oh, kick to the head. Lifts up Rollins. Rollins gets out of it. Reverse DDT. The death drop. Might have sent Punk ringing. His ears ringing, but it looks like that kick, that drop kick could have made Rollins bleed. But Rollins jumping knee. A jumping knee. Now, trying to drag Punk to the middle of that ring. Look for a cover. Very smart move. Oh no, Punk was able to get up too fast before Rollins was able. Rollins comes back, forearm. He jumps on, oh, and a curb stomp, a curb stomp to Punk. Will this be it? This is what took out Riddle, two, no. Punk was able to kick out that same curb stomp. Rollins was able to put Riddle away with, and now a jumping knee. Oh, and now Punk. Drives Rollins into the mat. Now stomping the back of the ankle. A kick to the back. 
CM Punk sends him into the corner. Knee Look for that bulldog, but no, Rollins was able to push him off. Rollins turns him around. Forearm to the back of the neck. That could, does more damage than what one would believe. Seth Rollins given everything he's got in this match. Elbow drop missed. Elbow drop missed. With that kind of impact on the mat, that could definitely, definitely fracture an elbow, but no. Rollins able to drag. Oh, CM Punk has the opportunity here. He's the only man standing. But like I said, every single time one of these men try grabbing the other, the other, oh my gosh. Flinging him, turning him inside out as Punk. Goes to the outside. Rollins gets back up to his feet. Dope Suicida connects this time. And now stomp. A stomp to the midsection of CM Punk. Oh, and now a stomp to the back of the arm. It's really got to be doing a number on Punk. Count of four is Rollins. For a boot, no. Punk takes him down. Now Punk, DDT, no. Once again. Punches to the midsection. Punk sends Rollins into the ring. And now Punk wants Rollins up. Springboard Lariat. Springboard Lariat, Punk connects. Now he wants Rollins up and a kick to the shoulder. Oh, and he wants it again. He wants it again, just tearing, wearing and tearing on CM Punk. Seth Rollins, I mean, and Punk. Look for that pile driver pedigree. I don't know what he was looking for there, but Rollins, nevertheless, hits him with a lariat. Seth Rollins. Lifts up Punk, no. Punk grabs a hold of Rollins. Snap suplex. No, standing suplex. No, Rollins was able to get out of it and chops the knee down. Chopping the knee down and a knee. Cover hooks the leg. One, two, no. Punk was able to kick out. Rollins thought that was it. Oh, jumping over. Neck breaker. Punk gets caught. Couple of strikes. Rollins really landed in. Oh. More than light suplex. So here comes, oh, both men look for that jumping knee as they're going back and forth. As CM Punk, CM Punk lifts up Seth freaking Rollins. Hits him with a go to sleep. Go to sleep on Seth Rollins. Cover hooks the leg. One, two. Rollins able to kick out. Rollins was able to kick out of that go to sleep, that infamous go to sleep that sends shockwaves around the entire wrestling world. We're getting a fight forever chant as CM Punk says no. Gets caught with an instigary. Rollins lifts up Punk. Gets caught in midsection. Springboard. Clothesline. The back and forth match. Jump in knee. It connects this time. Rollins gets up. Oh, gets. Strike to the middle back area. Now, Snake Guys on the top turnbuckle. CM Punk stomping him out once again. CM Punk goes to the outside as Rollins rolls to the outside. Look for a breather there as CM Punk comes back. Grabs a hold of him. Side rush and leg sweep. It's Rollins, oh. Rollins able to catch CM Punk off guard. Both these men just fighting. Both dropkick missed. CM Punk lifts up Rollins. Bile driver spiking him on his head. Stack of dimes he calls a neck. It's Punk back and forth. As it looks like we're having some technical difficulties here. Hopefully we can get our crew to set it back up as both were looking for a stomp. It looks like we're good to go now as CM Punk Sharpshooter, sharpshooter, all that pain going to the lower back of Seth Rollins. Will Rollins tap? 
That is the question. Will Rollins tap? But Rollins able to kick Punk off. Seth. Forearm to Punk. Cover hooks the leg. One. Only a one count. My gosh. Punk was able to kick out of one. This late into the match. It's got to be scary for a man going up against CM Punk. Punk looks to take a breather. Tope Suicida. Rollins was able to catch him once again. With that Tope Suicida. And now, oh, another forearm to the back of the head. The back of the neck. Like I said before, that does a heck of a lot of damage. As Rollins lifts Punk up. Oh, gets kicked midsection. Oh, once again, gets kicked. Oh, and DDT. DDT. As I said earlier on in the night, that is not that much padding between Rollins' top of the head and the concrete floor below. As Punk sends Rollins back into the ring. Count of six. It's Punk looking. Maybe that's it. Maybe Punk got knocked out by that impact. But only a one count. My gosh. These two are going to beat the living daylights out of each other. They're willing to kill each other in that ring before they go down for the three. Punk sends Rollins into the corner. Jumping knee. And a bulldog. This time it connects. See on Punk. Has the opportunity of a lifetime. If Punk can hit him with the go to sleep. Hit him with the anaconda vice. Hit him with something. Punk could have this match secured in the bag, but he's looking to punch him out before he does so because Rollins recently did just kick out but one count. Now wrenching the head, wrenching the neck, trying to get it nice and loose for when he knees it right off of Rollins' body. Oh. Now Punk's trying to stop the other hand of Rollins. As Punk sends him into the corner. Once again, Punk approaching Rollins. Maybe it was too much time as Rollins, oh, dove right towards Punk, but Punk catches him with a boot to the face, stomping out the ankle. And now, Punk, oh, Punk, I thought he was looking for another sharpshooter, but now, just stomping the face. Stomping. That face making big impact on the mat is... Oh, no. Punk punching Rollins. No. No. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? Pedigree. A Pepsi driver from the top. Will this be it? Cover hooks the leg. One, two, three. That was it. CM Punk is added to the triple threat match at No Mercy for the World. Heavyweight championship if you all watch to the very end thank you all for watching make sure you go down below make sure you like comment share and subscribe and get ready for next monday as we are having the go home show for no mercy thank you all